hello guys welcome and what's up my name is chris as always welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video we're going to see how to install anaconda and jupyter notebook alongside spider ide inside ubuntu Linux. first of all what is anaconda anaconda is a free and open source distribution of python and other programming languages for data science and machine learning related applications so in this video we're going to download it and you are going to install it in a editor these steps so there's no one who will be lost if you follow me where first of all you're going to go ahead and open your browser of your favorite in this case i'm using firefox you can be used or chrome or safari or any other favorite browser and go ahead and type anaconda in the google browser google is my default browser here and the first link that will come here it will be from anaconda.com and you can go ahead and obtain it from here uh, you will go ahead and uh, open a new tab and it will bring up this anaconda website so let's wait for it to load and this is the interface that you will see when the page is successfully loaded and as you can see on the right side here there is now the download button but this is for windows and when you scroll down you can see other installer for mac and linux so i'm gonna go and choose my linux here click on there and to bring that all the way down to where you can obtain the download installer so uh we're going to go ahead and uh, when you take a closer look this is the python version that we are going to be using in this video at the time of making this video this is the python 3.8 and when you look down a bit you can see there is a 64-bit installer that way this uh, amount of megabytes I'm going to go ahead and press on it so as to download it. It will bring this for thank you for downloading and all of these kind. So don't give uh, any value that. But what you want is to download this file, which is the .sh file. And I can let if you are a, a current Linux user, you know that the .sh is for the bash. So we'll use the bash to install this one and we we'll see that in a bit. Go ahead and press on save file and press OK. And the download will start. So uh, let's wait for the download to be done and we'll continue with another steps. All right, and once our download is complete, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. We are not going to install like double click like for Windows, but we can use the terminal to perform the installation. To open the terminal, go ahead and, and press Ctrl RT to bring up the terminal. And we are going to type, as I was telling you, this is now the bash file. So to install, we use the bash and then we will navigate to the download folder where that file is contained. Downloads. And then we will choose that uh, and it is called uh, Anaconda. Uh, so let's check for the file name so as to avoid some errors. Can go ahead and copy the uh, open where it is. Um, and you can go ahead and copy this this um and after copy this, uh, you can go ahead and paste it here and you add dot sh for brush then you press enter and to now ask us to 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 agree for the license agreement so we are going to press enter to continue and it will bring all this one so as we can go and scroll and read all this uh, license agreement and can scroll all the way down by pressing enter okay and so it will uh, bring this one and to uh, it will ask if we accept license agreement you can put yes or no so we are going to put yes because we are agreeing to this license agreement and we, then we press enter and it can it will show us the current location on where the anaconda is going to be installed it will, it will be installed on this home directory hana media my user and anaconda 3 you can change that if you have a proper reason to change it but i like to leave it as default so as to avoid further errors i will go ahead and press enter to confirm the location after pressing enter it will now start installing and when you reach here now it is 
telling us that installation finished and it is asking if you want to the install to initialize the con anaconda 3 by running conda in it so we are going to go ahead and press yes and press enter wait for a bit and as you can see now we are done installing our anaconda but we are not done yet <laughs> where we are still here we have to refresh this is uh, bash rc file and by to do that we have to type source uh, like this one then dot bash rc and then press enter okay after now this is now it refreshed we can go ahead and type a uh, conda list to see all the packages that are installed in on this system wait for a bit and you can see all these and if you don't know what conda is conda is an open source cross-platform language agnostic package manager and environment management system that help us to install other python packages and you can use it to perform all of those things so to check the conda version you can type conda and you you write info like this one uh write conda which is not uh, conda info press enter and you, as you can see now we are running the the condo version 4.10.1 you can also check the python version too you can type uh, python and hyphen hyphen version and to bring this python 3.8.8 .8. and as we were saying on the beginning of this video there are other things that we install anaconda um basing on like jupyter so to, uh, to open the jupyter notebook you go ahead and type jupyter notebook like this one and to bring the jupyter notebook in our favorite browser and the default browser which is now my um firefox so wait for a bit and it will bring up this home page let's wait for it to load it will bring this home page for jupyter you can go ahead and create your custom folder so you can uh, let me choose this desktop so i can go ahead and create a new folder here that can uh, hold our projects uh so it's called untitled folder go ahead and select it go on name and uh, i'm going to name it to uh python python projects i uh, like python like this one python projects uh after i will click the name and the folder that is called python projects will be on my desktop you can see it there so let's bring this again and uh, inside this python project i'm going to create a file or a notebook and we are going to check if our python is running go ahead and click on python 3 to bring this one and as you can see now we are inside our jupyter notebook you can go ahead and type plaint uh, and type hello world um let me put hero world or hero craze there's no problem about that and so to execute this line of code you go ahead and press shift enter to return this one if you want to go and add other things or other lines in this same low you can type enter enter and to bring this one you can uh start like assigning age like i'm 100 years old and you can print age to this is the for testing if for our uh jupyter is working and as you can see hero chris age and as you can see on the, the top here there is this untitled you can go ahead and um call it my first let me put underscore my uh, underscore my first python okay let me limit my first and go and press on name and as you can see this is working very smooth and it is doing our work as we expected it to do so we are going to go ahead and close all of these and uh, we're going to leave on page uh, close all this one and what uh, we are going to do again is to close the server to close the server you go ahead and uh, press ctrl and c in the terminal and to ask us if you want to shut down the notebook server you go ahead and press y which is now for yes um and when you press enter and try this again why and to now shut down dot that, that one so 
go ahead and go on the terminal itself so you can go ahead and also test if the spider is working go ahead and type spider like this one and press enter it will try our spider ide and as you can see also our um our spider is working so when we try to um, let's dismiss this one we don't want to, to take so uh, then click wait dismiss mm -hmm. so we can come inside our spider and type something like um, print her word and uh, and put hero crease so we we try to press shift enter and to start to learn and as you can see it is now bringing uh across this one and it is now bringing this as an output for my code that i wrote there i can pr proceed like the same i did on the jupiter and i can assign my age as a hundred so if i go and type shift enter it will bring this again um and we try to plant I, I forgot to plant my age so i go ahead and press shift enter and it will be like chris 100. so guys that's how you can install the uh, anaconda and jupiter notebook and um spider and if you want to learn anaconda by itself you can also go ahead and type anaconda so guys i hope you like this video and you find it very very interesting and you enjoyed it and if you did go ahead and press like and pr press on the like button and if you come on the channel for the first time and you are not yet subscribed go ahead and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one peace up